So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which I wanted to show you one more uh, position that is position fixed, right? So we have discussed position relative and position absolute, but there is something fun you can do with CSS and that is using position fixed. So what happens with position fixed is that you can actually fix an element completely on the screen. By that what I mean is that even though you scroll that position, that element would stay there on the screen. Now, how does that work? Let's just see. So let's say if I have a site, something like this, and I have maybe like nice heading, and I have some nice content, right? And I have this, oops, let's just close the P tag. And I have this for some, some time right so that we get a little bit of scroller for ourselves now what i can do is i can go ahead and create something like you know just go ahead and create a logo for myself right so this logo what this would do is that this would be an image so let's just go ahead and copy this image for now because why the hell not i'm gonna go ahead and insert it like this right so if you go down, you're gonna see we have this image, which is not really the best example. So let's just go ahead and let's see what we can do. Let me just go ahead and pick up probably this image, right? And just, just don't mind the thing I'm doing right now. This is what should be needed, right? So if I go ahead now, and you can see that we have a nice little HTML5 logo with us now. What I want is that I want this big logo to scroll as I scroll the window as well. So to do that, what I can do is I can go ahead and make this logo as position fixed. So once I do that, what really happens is that, or actually I need the style sheet as well. Link rel style sheet href style.css right so once i do that you're gonna see that basically now the logo does not really seem to be visible although it's visible the thing is it is out of the screen so let's just bring it on the top so i'm gonna say top zero and i'm gonna say left zero as well right so we still do not really see the logo so what we can do in this case is let's just go ahead and open this in a new tab and I'm gonna just see where my logo is, right? So it's here and you can see the width and the height of this logo seems zero by zero as the box model says. So let's just give this bad boy a little with a width of 200 pixel and a height of 200 pixel, right? So now you can see it appears on the screen but now if I go ahead and scroll it, you're going to see that it sticks to the screen, right? It's not really moving. I mean, it's, yeah, that, that's the thing. It's, it's moving if you see from one perspective and it's stationary if you see from your perspective, right? So what does that mean? Well, that means that when you use position fixed on an element, what happens is that it becomes sticky on the, on the window coordinate system, right? So it becomes sticky for the whole page, for the whole web page. I can just make it, you know, just write zero and uh, that's how it's going to look like, right? So you have a nice little HTML logo on the right. The only difference between position absolute and position fixed are the follows. Position absolute, what it would do is it will find the nearest, um, position relative parent right position fixed however does nothing like that it does not find a relative parent position absolute is a relatively positioned p o s i t i o n e d relatively positioned according to the nearest uh, relative parent right wherever it finds the position relative tag Position fixed, on the other hand, is fixed and, you know, unmoving, so as to say, 
according to the window itself right so it does not look for any parents nothing at all once you have given an element position fixed it's going to stay fixed always right and you have to define its coordinate absolutely in terms of windows right so top zero top is this left is this top left is this top right bottom right bottom left so you lose that ability of relative positioning if you use fixed so yeah that's how you're gonna do it and that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one